second graders, it's Ms. Whipple. Um, today I am going to be teaching you how to fluently add and subtract 10 and 100 from any three digit number. Um, this is an important second grade skill and the goal for you is to be able to do this quickly and in your head. And I'm gonna show you some cool tricks for that. So let's get started. When we uh, are for trying to find 10 more than a number or 10 less than a number, all we need to do is look at the tens place. We're going to start by looking at a hundreds chart just to refresh our memory on this. So I'm going to pick any number on my hundreds chart. I'll just pick 56. And if we wanted to find 10 more than this number, we would just jump down a row. And notice our new number is 66. 10 more than 56 is 66. The ones place does not change, but the tens place goes up by one. Now, if we wanted to find 10 less than 56, we would just jump up a row and notice now our tens place is four. It was five, five, 10 less is 40. Four tens, ones place stays the same. So when we look at the number 56, 10 more is 66, 10 less is 46. Now this is the same when we're looking at a three digit number and that's what we're gonna look at next. So here we have some examples of three digit numbers and we're going to practice adding and subtracting 10 from each of these numbers. We'll actually start with doing 10 less than the number. So I am only really looking at my tens place in these numbers. I'm mostly ignoring my hundreds and my ones place because they're not really going to change in most cases. So I'm going to look at my tens in the number 423. 20 minus 10 is 10. So my new number 10 less is 423. 13. Notice my tens place went from a 2 to a 1. If I want to find 10 more, 20 plus 10 is 30, so my number is 433. Next example, 637. 30 take away 10 is 20, so my number is 627. 10 more, 30 plus 10 is 40, so 647. In this number, 152, 50 minus 10 is 40, so 142, 50 plus 10 is 60, so 162. And then this last one is a little tricky, it's a bit of a challenge. The 10 less is not so hard, 90 minus 10 is 80, so the number is 384. But then I look at 394 and I think, well, 10 more than 90 is 100. So, I can't say 300, 104, that doesn't make sense. I now have not nine tens, but 10 tens in the tens place, and I need to regroup those into a new hundred. So I have, um, I'm gonna end up with a zero in the tens place and uh, the next hundred up. So 10 more than 394 is actually 404. 300, the way you can think about this is that 390 plus 10 would be 400. So 394 plus 10 would be 404. Our ones place never, cha never changes. We had 39 tens. That's another way of thinking about this. Now we have 40 tens. That's another cool way of thinking about making that jump to the next 100. We had 39 tens. Now we have 40 tens. Now we're going to practice adding. 100 more and 100 less to uh, the same number, same set of numbers. 423, I'm not looking at my tens, I'm not looking at my ones, I'm only looking at my hundreds place because the tens and ones shouldn't really change. 400 minus 100 is 300, so 100 less is 323. 400 plus 100 to make 100 more is 500, so 100 more is 523. 637, 600 minus 100 is 537. 637 plus 100, 737. 394, 100 more, or sorry, 100 less is 200, so 294. 100 more, 494. Four, or three plus 100, 300 plus 100 is 400. This last one, again, I threw in a little challenge for us because 152 only has 100. So when we take 100 away, what goes in the hundreds place? Well, now we have zero hundreds, 
So we just leave it blank. We don't put a zero at the beginning of the number. We don't create a three digit number when there is no hundreds place or when there's a zero in the hundreds place. So our 100 less than 152 is just 52. And then 100 more is 252. Now you're gonna try some of these on your own.